You guys could pit? Left 170. Do you mind if I take a look real quick? Huge shout out to today's sponsor, Infinite Wraps, located in Douglasville, Georgia. Owned and operated by my friend John, who made our trip up to Georgia possible. Infinite Wraps is a proud supporter of the police community, and their team is responsible for bringing to life the police challenger wrap you're about to see in this video. So whether you're looking for a custom vinyl wrapping services using a wide range of high quality films, or you're after a fully printed graphic design, Infinite Wraps has got you covered. Make sure to follow them on Instagram at Infinite Wraps GA to see more of their amazing work. And one more time, I want to give a huge shout out to Infinite Wraps for supporting the channel. And I want all the Nod Squad members to go over and support them on their Instagram and show them love for taking us up to Georgia. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Police Vlogs, where we go around the nation checking out different police departments and what they have to offer. Recently, I was afforded the opportunity to travel up to Georgia and film with the Carroll County Sheriff's Department. That's right, got to film with them Georgia boys and girls. Last week posted a teaser on my socials and it absolutely blew up. Shout out to some of the new members that jumped over from TikTok. What's up? While up in Georgia was able to capture a bunch of police work, go out with different units such as the SWAT team and serve some warrants. We went out with the ACE unit. I went on a patrol. I went out with a heat detail, their highway enforcement and traffic, did some traffic, got a DUI. I mean, it was all good stuff. You guys are going to learn a lot and how they do things up in Georgia or down in Georgia, depending on where you live. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. There's so many episodes coming, so many episodes. And every time I put out an episode, contacted by other agencies asking to ride along you guys are gonna be in for a treat this channel is gonna get huge huge all right enough of the jibber jabber let's get to this first episode featuring the carroll county sheriffs we're gonna tour their jurisdiction we're gonna go out on patrol with deputy claypool you're gonna get to meet the sheriff a lot of good stuff in this episode if you have your questions put it down below and we'll answer those questions as best as possible all right roll the footage carroll county Sheriff's office. And there he is. There's Mike. Bow, bow, bow. Good to see you finally. Welcome All to Georgia. Right. What's up, Nod Squad? My name is Deputy Mike Claypool here with the Carroll County Sheriff's Office. Uh, currently, my assignment here is a recruiting, and retention, and community affairs. Uh, I've been in uh, public safety and law enforcement for approximately 24 years, uh, EMS, fire, and uh, the majority of that has been in sworn law enforcement. Um, new here to Carroll County, about two years. Absolutely love it, and I can't wait to kick it off and show you guys what we got to offer. We're gonna meet the sheriff. Yep. We're gonna go on patrol. Yep. But before we do any of that, I gotta introduce you guys to something that's really awesome that's right over here behind our training center. <laughs> This is our 2023 Dodge Challenger that's assigned to me personally as a patrol car. Full functioning patrol car can be used for all aspects of law enforcement here in Carroll County. Now before all the haters start commenting on the comment section, let me show you what we got on the back of this bad boy. So as you see back here, this vehicle was purchased with seized drug money. So everything from top to bottom, inside and outside the wrap, all the modifications, computer, light system, radios, all purchased with drug money that we seized here in Carroll County. 
Uh, we want to go ahead and give a shout out to all you guys who've made that possible. If you want to bring it to the county, we're going to take you to jail and we're going to buy more cool stuff like this. So this challenge was a very fun build out for all of us here at the Sheriff's Office and everything about this, this car has a story behind it. It's really cool. So starting out with the front, we got the Satina push bumper with the four light system in the front with our siren. Now Satina makes the push bumper for the Challenger, but it was very hard to find. If anything, I was told they don't even make these side wings, these pit wings for the Challenger. So our shop actually custom fabricated these out of ones from an old Dodge Charger. So that's one of one modifications we got on this car. Ooh. So don't mind these scuffs and bends up here. This is actually a working patrol vehicle. I use it on a daily basis for patrol operations here in Carroll County. So this is uh, one of the things that has to do with collateral damage with vehicles up here. So you guys could pit? Oh yeah. Let's go up here to the hood of the car. We wanted to put the, the Constitution up here, we the people, because this is a car for the people of Carroll County and the citizens out there for us to keep them safe. But also we wanted to pay homage to our founding fathers of this country that created all of our laws, because we are lawmen and this is the beginning of our laws and how we structured everything. So I wanted to make sure that we had that on display for everybody out there to see. So this bad boy is sitting on 20 inch wheels, blacked out, makes it look real good. We got a one and a half inch Eibach lowering kit for the whole thing to give it more of an aggressive stance and look really good out there. On the side of the car here, we have it wrapped in the state flag for the state of Georgia. We have the reflective gold Sheriff Carroll County decals on here. Coming back to our, our branding logo, which is our badge with our name Sheriff on here, Terry Langley. So another fun thing we did with this, here in Carroll County, we're very pro Second Amendment out there with gun ownership, responsible gun ownership. On the uh, valve stem covers are actually made out of 40 caliber rounds that we actually collected from our range during range days out there. So all four tires have that. Another thing we did, which was really cool, we wanted to make sure the kids like this because we take this to a lot of public events, a lot of kids events, touch a truck, things of that nature. We had the uh, Transformers Autobot symbol put on both sides of this. It's a very good talking point. The kids automatically gravitate to it. They see that it's a Transformer and they love it. And on the rear end here on both sides, we're, we're always actively recruiting good men and women to be law enforcement officers, be deputies with us, and it's one of my jobs here. So if you're interested, you can always hit up applyccso.com or even blow this up and scan this QR code. So and moving back here to the top of the trunk, right here we have the state of Georgia over the I-20 interstate symbol. We did this as this is paying homage to our interstate interdiction team who is able to get out there and seize all the drugs and the drug money to make the purchase of this vehicle possible. So we wanted to make sure we, we put them into play here. On the back, as we saw earlier, this is the Challenger Sheriff Edition. This is a one of a kind that no one else has or will have. And the seal, the great seal of Carroll County, because without the county support of our government officials, none of this would have been able to be possible. And also to further customize this car, we went ahead with a full cap back exhaust system from Magnaflow and it ended off at the back here. We have these burnt tip quad three inch mufflers. And on the passenger side of this vehicle is different. It has the featuring the thin blue line American flag over here to represent and respect for all law enforcement officers and the fallen heroes out there. One of the things was I didn't know if we were going to do this in the American blue line flag on both sides or if I was going to do the Georgia state flag. So I was going back and forth, back and forth, different views. I was actually flipping burgers, volunteering at my kid's baseball game in the concession stand, complaining about this, this contemplation I had. And my wife actually said, why don't you put both on there? The light bulb went off, I presented it to the designer, and that's how we came up with this awesome concept. AKA the wife is always right. That's right. So this isn't a police package challenger. Uh, so what we had to do, we had to customize a lot of the inside of it to enable me to be able to take this out on patrol. Um, one of the things we did is obviously see we have the light system uh, all throughout the car. And also we have a rumbler on here. The, the lights are federal signal. We have a computer stand with our laptop computer going off our mobile Wi-Fi. Uh, we get all of our uh, CAD systems from dispatch on here. Got my vest and we'll be putting this bad boy on later. We go on patrol, we'll wear that to be, be safe. And this is our control system for our lights and sirens. And this is how we make it all happen. All right, does that thing have AC? This thing has cold AC, which I want to put on right now because it seems like you brought all that Florida heat up here to Carroll County, Georgia. My bad, bro. Man, that thing looks good. Shout out to Carroll County Sheriff's. You guys knocked it out of the park 
with that rap and the vehicle itself. And shout out to Infinite Raps, you guys knocked it out of the park. Great job. I've seen a lot of police cars in my day, and that thing is top tier. With that, before we go on patrol, let's meet Sheriff Langley. Hello, I'm Carroll County, Georgia, Sheriff. I want to welcome you to Carroll County. I'm Sheriff Terry Langley. I've been the sheriff here in Carroll County for 24 years. Prior to that, I was a deputy up for 20 years. We here at the Carroll County Sheriff's Office are proud of our office, proud of our training, proud of our employees we have. At Carroll County, we have a patrol division, a jail division, court services. We do drug investigations, traffic. We have several specialized units, and we appreciate very much our employees. As sheriff for Carroll County, I welcome you to to be here at our department, see what our great employees do. You'll be riding along with them. We have great officers. You'll see the great work they do to keep our county safe. We're proud of what we have here and we just invite you anytime to come visit us because this is the place to be. So Carroll County is approximately just shy a little over 500 square miles. Um, we patrol all of it, a lot of area to patrol, a lot of area to cover. We do have municipalities, like the larger municipalities like Carrollton, City of Carrollton, City of Villarica, Temple, Bowden, Mount Zion. We have smaller little little cities and then we work with their with their PDs very well. It's a cool county because um, where I'm from, Florida. You're a Florida boy. I am born and raised in St. Petersburg. Most of my law enforcement career um, has been in the Tampa Bay area. Um, and uh, just, I'm fairly new here. I've been here about two, two and a half years with Carroll County. So absolutely love it. You get kind of a city feel, but you also get that rural country feel. We get, you know, your domestics, shootings, homicides even, but everything that a big city gets, we also get, we just don't get it in the volume uh, that I'm typically used to, and you're used to, Nick, Correct. with that volume down in Miami. Um, so it's a great place to work. Um, not only that, we have uh, University of West Georgia's here. Um, there's lots of areas to hunt, to fish, um, get out there and get out outside, get away from the city life. Uh, which is very different for me. We got a lot of hills. Uh, I'm used to flat roads, 90 degree turns. We yeah. got country roads, as as easy you're experiencing here today. Yeah. And uh, the past couple of days. We also got the brown dog. The brown dog eatery. That's Ooh. where we had lunch. How was it? Delicious. Yes, sir. It was great. That's one of my favorite places to go eat down Shout in the Shout out square. to the brown dog. Shout out to the brown dog. Here, the community backs us. Our government backs us. Our administration backs us. The sheriff backs us 110%. It's a great feeling to be able to come out here and actually do my job and do real, real law enforcement police work, knowing that you have the support of everybody behind you. Now, Florida, like Georgia, has a traffic law regarding left lane campers. However, Georgia, I believe, has the better name for their law. And you guys are going to find out now as Deputy Claypool explains. So bear with us, guys. This is the first stop of the day, and Deputy Claypool forgot to activate the body camera that I gave him. In his defense, the Carroll County Sheriff's Department, they don't wear body cameras. What they have is in-car cameras, and then they wear a microphone on their shoulder to record the audio when they're outside of the vehicle. So in his defense, okay, they don't have a signed body camera, so we're going to let it slide this time. But uh, he'll wrap it up and then debrief us and tell us everything, what's going on. But you can kind of make out what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> the infamous left lane camper. That's right. We yeah. get that quite a bit, you know, around here. But um, it's sometimes a lot of people they just don't really just don't know about it. And, and that was in this case in Georgia, like like most other states also. But here in Georgia, you know, you um, slower slower traffic must uh, maintain farthest to the right. We're on 61 here, and it's two lanes of traffic. And I usually give somebody about two miles just to give them the benefit of the doubt in case they are preparing for a left-hand turn. Uh, I was following this uh, this lady for um, way more than two miles. Uh, she kept slowing down and speeding up, slowing down, speeding up. So I decided to stop her. Just a quick education deal. I, did, I didn't ride her. Um, she was nice. Um, and I was always, uh, she, she saw the car and she, she had to get out and look at the car. And <laughs> that's very typical because this is a working car. And that's why we did this, not only just to go out and, and, and show off, but also to get out there and allow us to communicate and interact with the public um, on a different level. So it's one of those, it's a really good benefit to have this actually working out there as well. Look out. 
71. Chevrolet truck, Claypool. I'm guessing it was in between. I didn't see it. It was about a mile, mile and a half for yeah. you, so. Yeah, that was my fault. Okay, not Okay. I'm give you this card right here. That's where you're going to make sensors, I think. Okay. Give it two or three weeks. The price is going to be posted. If you do want to contest your court date, September 3rd at 9 a.m., you'll appear. That's the address. If you don't, you can just pay it and be done. Truck in this left lane, 71. So on this stop, the driver volunteers to allow Deputy Claypool to search his vehicle. Deputy Claypool then proceeds to search the vehicle. Doesn't find anything, but while the driver's outside the vehicle, the driver notices the vehicle behind him that pulled him over, and he has some words to say about it. Legal? Nothing like that at all? No. Yes, sir. I okay. You want to, do you need to check it? Do you mind if I take a look real quick while this other deputy talks to you back here? Absolutely. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Man, those are sick, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So, are they wrapping a bunch of the cars like that now? Just this one right here, just oh, really? a little community thing to get out there. And, no, I think that's awesome. So. Yeah, I love the hood and stuff, too. That's cool. Who, who wraps it? A uh, place called Infinite Wraps oh, in really? Douglas in Douglasville. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so if you look at Infinite Wraps, he, he does a really good job. No, he does everything. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah, man, thank y'all. Yeah, just, all right, be safe. Which one did you get? Left one seventy. Left motorcycles now nothing against motorcycles but as a law enforcement officer sometimes you light them up for a traffic stop and they don't comply apparently in georgia the juice isn't worth the squeeze to try to take off i had a gsxr i had the they just I, got that one Favorite bike though was the um, Kawasaki ZX6R. Yeah. Yeah. The 636. Yeah. That thing was sick. I mean, 636, and it was out of the box. It was it was a track bike. All right, man. Yes, sir. They ain't gonna do you dirty. Stop. Oh, man. That's pretty cool, was it? I, I don't run. I'm a local. I can't can't do nothing bad in my hometown. <laughs> yeah. So. That's why I got up beside you all just in case. Nah, you're good. I'm not aware. He tries to get GSP it. to chase him, not us. Hey, no. Hey, no. That's a death. That's a death one right there. <laughs> Later. I've been in law enforcement for five years now. I came to the county two years ago. I've been on the heat unit for about a year now. Really, really enjoy this. I get to focus on DUIs and try to make a difference in somebody's life, save lives doing this. And a little birdie told me that you were a power lifting champ. Strongman competitions, nice. like you see on TV, I get to do that cool stuff, have a good time with it. It keeps me active, it keeps me large, obviously, you can tell. <laughs> yeah. So it's, real quick, have you ever had to like strongman a car, lift a car off of a, a ditch or something? <laughs> thankfully not yet. <laughs> but I bet you could. I'm, I'm ready when it happens though. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so today we're gonna be doing a little bit of traffic. Yeah, we're gonna 
start off with some speed tonight. And as the night transitions, hopefully look for some impaired drivers and get them off the roadway. Bag blowing up and down. I don't, but I'm at 113 and over here. Yep, you're right. There you go. Hey, how are you? I'm Deputy Cohen, the Care County Sheriff's Officer. He's got to stop. I had you at 86 coming up behind me. Somebody was racing up on me. I was trying to get up. No. You realize who I was? It's slowed way down. You know what, sir? I yeah. I saw when you realized who I was. You slowed like, down. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, you got your license on you. I got my license. I do. I do. Did you just buy your car? I did. You like it so far? I do. That's a good thing. Now, it's using right now because I, I drive back and forth. I've been doing good too. <laughs> I got you. Texas. Yeah. So, I'm from Alabama, but I've been living in Houston. So, so sorry. I'm used to my Texas accent. Yeah. 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 And you ain't got your no new license yet? No, not yet. Why well, I need to get a new license? Because you got to when you move to a new state. I mean, I'm working on it. I haven't even moved. No, moved you ain't. Yet. I haven't moved yet either. I'm commuting. So my mom is in Alabama, but I live in Atlanta. I was actually supposed to be. So you live in Atlanta? No, I live in Alabama. I work in Atlanta. But you got a Texas license. Because I've been in Texas. Oh, my I've goodness. Been, listen, listen, I've been in Texas. We got a Texas license. We're going all the way back to Alabama. We work in Atlanta. She's got a whole lot going on. She said at first that there was another car racing up beside her. And then uh, I told her I knew she slowed down because she saw me. She said, yeah, yeah. Georgia has what's called a super speeder law. And what that is, is an additional fine to the speeding ticket that you receive. So you receive your original fine plus a $200 super speeder fine. This law is applied when you're going 75 or over on any two lane roadways or convicted of speeding at 85 or over anywhere in Georgia. So you hear Deputy Cohen explain that he's not gonna charge him with the speed that we're going. He'll bring it down to 11 over. This way they don't get that super speeder ticket. <laughs> this is just another way for those road pirates to take our money. Actually, yes it is. If you're going over the speed limit at that rate, then you get charged with the super speeder ticket and the proceeds from that ticket go to programs such as helping fund Georgia's trauma care hospital system where approximately 60% of all trauma care patients are crash related. Now super speeders will help pay for the hospital beds where their crash victims will be treated. All right, I'm a, listen, listen, listen. So I'm gonna meet you in the middle, okay? I'm not gonna write you the super speeder that you were speeding at. Okay. All right, I'm gonna write you 11 over. Okay. Won't put no points in your license. Won't even hurt your insurance. Okay. All right, that's fair, ain't it? What do you say, though? What's the 11 over? 11 miles an hour over? 11 over. I don't get tickets. I got a good record. Well, this don't even go on your driving record. But, but, but. I don't it, no, ain't no buts. I didn't write you, you a super speeder. Was. You know I take this thing. But you know where it all went wrong? Every time I get on this highway, my best friend distracted me when I was getting out. I ain't saying my prayer. You know what I ain't doing? My prayer every day. No tickets. And that dog that I just take. Hey, you know another good way to avoid tickets? It's not to go Not the speed. speed. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, so look, your court date is right here on the bottom half of September 3rd if you want to go. It's gonna be this silver SUV up here. Try to get a, around this hill and this curve up here so we're halfway safe. I'd like to avoid being hit by a car tonight. That'd be nice. Uh, that's ideal. <laughs> but we'll try to get on the straightaway, that way we're visible from a good ways. And don't surprise anybody that's not paying attention. As long as they don't stop on the bridge, we'll be all right. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm Deputy Cohen, the Care County Sheriff's Office. The whole reason I got stopped, I had you at 85 coming up on me, okay? 
Are you sure that wasn't far in front of me? I'm sure. Because really? I switched my radar as soon as they passed me to them and they were slower yeah, than that. I was like behind him. You were a good ways from him. Was I? Yes, ma'am. I was on the phone with my daughter, not holding her back, right here. And I was like, I think I may be good. Yeah. Okay, now he's behind me. His lights aren't on. His lights are on. And I was, eat I was eating a Twizzler. I go, and there's Twizzlers in my teeth. That's all right. I've seen worse. And I'm like, look at my Twizzlers. And I'm, I'm like, I'll call you back later. Like, later. Very nice lady. That dead deer really stinks. Not gonna lie, it's not the best smelling traffic stop I've been on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's probably one of the worst. It's kind of ruining, ruining the mood. They didn't stop on a bridge, but they did stop by the dead deer. <laughs> Found the next worst thing. <laughs> she was worried about the Twizzlers in her teeth. She was eating Twizzlers going down the road and talking to her daughter. Both of them out here have asked for no ticket. We don't don't quite do that. But I do like helping people. And reducing speeds helps with license, pricing, insurance stuff. Alright, I'm gonna meet you in the middle. No, no, no. no. That means we're getting a ticket. But but, 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 I'm gonna write you under super speeder. Cause 85 is super speeder. So I'm gonna write you 11 sure, over. it was me going 85. I promise you. We wouldn't be talking if I didn't know it was you. I don't, I don't stop cars, I'm just I guessing. I never get a ticket. All right, well be careful wherever you go. Have a good night. Are you injured? Yeah, she said injured. I don't have anything confirmed. The clerk is the only one that's actually talked to us so far, and he says there is one people on the roadway, and it doesn't look bad enough for you to reach the top of that. Hopefully they're not getting off. It'll make it a little bit easier. Nine sixteen is past 23. Probably could have waited for our turn. Please don't do that. No, there you go. Of course, I use it. I'm in the worst spot. Thank you, friends. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, coming up in the next episode, we're going to continue this call. We'll see the extent of the injuries, and we even get a visit from our friends over at GSP. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not, drop a comment down below. Ask those questions. Get them in. Do my best to answer them. And I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, well, then I'll see you. Now it's going to be Try to catch me howling at the moon.